It is the week of November 2nd, 2021. My name is Hope. And I'm Rosie. Welcome to your Ruth Fisher News. Our first story today takes us to the West Coast. Northern California was hit last week by an extremely strong storm that knocked down trees and left highways covered with water from record rains. The storm also caused mudslides in areas that were burnt in recent wildfires. Two unusual weather patterns came together to cause the storm. Part of the storm was caused by a weather system called an atmospheric river. That's a large, wide band of wet air coming in off the Pacific Ocean. This atmospheric river was being pushed by a bomb cyclone, which was heading north. Bomb cyclone is a phrase weather scientists use to describe a spinning storm that becomes very strong very quickly because of a rapid drop in pressure. Bomb cyclones are similar to regular cyclones or hurricanes, but aren't as powerful and happen farther away from the equator. Altogether, it poured about 16 inches of water in one day. The city of Buckeye announced some exciting news a couple of weeks ago. A new master plan community called Douglas Ranch will start selling residential lots within the next few months. When completed, it will have 100,000 homes, 300,000 residents, and 55 million square feet of commercial development. It will take a long time for that to happen, though. The West Valley has seen a ton of growth over the last decade, and Buckeye is consistently at the top of the national list of fastest growing cities. This addition will make sure that Buckeye stays near the top of that list for years to come. All this development will also help to bring in more businesses and services along Sun Valley Parkway. Douglas Ranch will also have direct access to the future I-11 freeway that will eventually connect Mexico to Canada and Phoenix to Las Vegas. Love it or hate it, these developments are sure to change our area as we know it. Here's Cameron and Dora with sports. Welcome to sports. My name is Dora. And I am Cameron. The Arizona Cardinals improved their record to 7-0 and zero with a win over the Houston Texans. Last week, by a score of 31-5, to five, the Cardinals will play the 49ers in San Francisco. This Sunday, the Arizona Coyotes have struggled to get things going so far this season. They have a record of 0-5 and 1 to start the season. This sun, the Suns started their season with a couple loses and a victory against the Lakers. They are currently in the middle of, of a five-game home stand before heading out to face the Kings early next week. In basketball news, the Hudson's asteroid, ast Stop. in baseball news, the Huts, Houston Astros and Atlanta Braves are facing off in the World Series that started last week. We will update you next week on the results. That is all for today. See you next time on Sports News. Thanks, girls. Let's go over to Allie and Dora with entertainment news. Welcome back to Entertainment News. I am Dora. And I'm Allie. Well, Halloween has finally passed. What did you do for Halloween? What did you dress as? In other news, the Arizona State Fair also came to a close last weekend. So if you were planning on going, unfortunately you're going to have to wait till next year. This Halloween was the 81st in Buckeye and there was a wonderful celebration there last weekend. Finally, Redcoats are coming to a pioneer Arizona Living History Museum for, the th for three days re-enactors camp on the grounds and bring history to life with exciting battles and educational demonstrations. Great fun for the whole family. Well, that's all for this week. See you next week on Entertainment News. Thanks, girls. Here's Natalie and Lorena with Fun Fact Trivia. Welcome to Fun Fact Trivia. My name is Natalie. And I am Lorena. Did you know that this Friday, November 5th, is National Donut Day? History disputes the origin of the donut. One theory suggests Dutch settlers brought donuts to North America much like they brought other traditional American desserts. They received credit for such desserts as the apple pie, cream pie, and cobbler. Donuts come in many shapes. Was the original donut round? If so, American Hanson Gregory laid claim to inventing the ring-shaped donut in 1847. 
He was on board a lime trading ship, only 16 at the time. Gregory, Gregory claims he punched a hole in the center of dough with the ship's tin pepper box. Later, he taught the technique to his mother. Your question today is one can of soda contains about the same amount of sugar as how many donuts? Is it A, two, B, four, or C, six? You have 10 seconds to make your decision. said B4, you were correct. A glazed donut at Krispy Kreme has about 11 grams of sugar and a can of Coke has 40 grams of sugar. I am not sure if that proves how bad soda is for you or how healthy donuts are. Either way, you should limit your intake of both. See you next week on Fun Fact Trivia. Thanks girls, let's go over to the joke of the week with Jocelyn and Natalie. Hello and welcome to Joke of the Week. My name is Natalie. And I am Jocelyn. So, what is your joke? Why should you never trust stairs? I don't know. Why should you never trust stairs? They're always up to something. Great joke. If you have a joke and would like to be on the news, please go to smusd.me slash news, and we would love to have you on. See you next time on Joke of the Week. Thanks girls. Here's Gabriel with This Week in History. Hello and welcome to This Week in History. I am Gabriel. On this day, November 2nd, 2000, the first residential space crew arrived aboard the International Space Station. The arrival of Expedition 1 marked the beginning of a new era of international cooperation in space and of the longest continuous human habitation in low Earth orbit, which continues to this day. For the sports nerds in the audience, on this day in 1986, Greta Waits wins her eighth New York City marathon. She finished the 26 mile 385 yard course in 2 hours and 28.6 minutes. More than a mile ahead of the second and third place women in the race. Well, that's all for now. See you next week on This Week in History. Thanks Gabriel. Let's go over to Charlie and Gray with Science Time. <laughs> Welcome to Science Time. My name is Grayson. And I'm Charlie. A turtle egg being cared for at the Birdsea Cape Wildlife Center in Barnstable, Massachusetts gave workers a big surprise when it hatched. The turtle came out and had two heads and six legs. It also had two spines, and each head had its own system for breathing and eating. The twins are healthy and growing and can swim together underwater. Coming up when one of them needs air, the center won't release the turtle, since it's unlikely to survive in the wild. Instead, they'll raise the turtle and keep studying it to learn more. The turtle is a diamondback terrapin, which is threatened in Massachusetts. The egg was rescued from a nest that was in a dangerous spot. The twins are being called Mary Kate and Ashley. See you next week with more science time. Thanks guys, here's Shannon with Word of the Week. Welcome to Word of the Week. My name is Shaylin and today's week word is Mirage. Mirage is a noun and it means optical effect or illusion, usually seen over water or hot pavement due to bending light. Here's how you can use it in a sentence. What the shipwreck crew thought was a ship on the horizon turned out to be a mirage. See you next time on Word of the Week. Thank you, Shaylin. Vix Robotics will be selling candy and chips after school on Thursdays. Please remember not to make a mess of our campus or school buses, or else they will have to discontinue the sale. That is all for this episode of Ruth Fisher News. See you next week. Go, Go Bears!